Okay, so now let's push a project up to GitHub. So here I have a little project. If I do an ls-a, we can see I've got just an index HTML and a Git repo set up here on the local machine. If I do a git log, you can see I have several commits. So I want to get this on GitHub. So let's go to GitHub and create a new repo. And I'm just going to call this git push demo. You can see I've tried doing this before. This is, I don't know what take this is on this video. Anyways, it gives us some uh, options here for different ways of setting it up. I'm just going to grab the URL and then I'll talk about some of these other commands as we go. So I'll grab the URL and I'll come back here to my local machine. Okay, and the first thing we're going to look at is git remote. And this will show us if we have any remotes set up. And we don't, so let's go ahead and set that up. We'll say git remote add. And then we want to give this remote a name. We're going to call it origin. And we'll do that just because uh, when you do a clone of a repo from GitHub, it will automatically set up uh, a remote with the name origin. So now we can paste in the URL and hit enter. Now we'll say git remote and there we see we have origin set up but let's also do a dash v and now you can see the uh, the URL associated with that uh, with the origin. Now origin you can think of as just being a variable that contains the uh, the URL and we could have named it anything we could have named it uh, github if we wanted so and this just makes it convenient when we do pushes or pulls so now let's go ahead and push our project up to github so we'll say git push uh, we'll say origin it's where we want to send it and we want to push up the master branch And so it looks like it's done its work. We'll say git status, nothing to commit, working directory is clean. And we'll look here, we'll do a refresh on GitHub. And here is our repo. You can see it has all our commits. So here we can see on git status, all it's telling us is that there's nothing to commit, working directory is clean. That just means our local repo is clean. But it doesn't tell us anything about whether we're in sync with GitHub or not. So let's say I come back into my project here and let's just say I add another paragraph. Come back to Git, we'll say Git status, one file modified, so I'll say Git commit dash A. Now this is just a shortcut so you don't have to stage it first. Okay, now we'll do a git status. And once again, the working directory is clean. But now we know that we're ahead of the GitHub repo. We actually have more commits locally than we do up on GitHub. But we get no feedback on that here. And that would be nice to have. So I'm going to say this time git push. And I'm going to use the dash u. And then I'll say origin and the master branch, send the master branch. You can see the last line here says branch master set up to track remote branch. So now if I say git status, you can see we have a line in here that tells us your branch is up to date with origin master. So origin being the GitHub repo. So now let's say we come in and once again we add another paragraph. We'll save that. Come back here. We'll say git commit dash a. We'll say add just paragraph. Let's make it short and sweet. Now if I say git log just to make sure. Okay, so we got that commit in there. And now if I say git 
status status you can see now it's saying git branch is ahead of origin master by one commit so that's nice it's telling us that uh, it's probably a good idea to push this up to github so they're in sync so I'll do that I'll say git push and I'm gonna leave it at that this time I'm gonna say and now I'll do a git status one more time we're up to date and our working directory is clean so our working directory is the local repo and it tells us that we're up to date with the remote so let's go back to github and let's take a look here and now we have nine commits and I put these other commits in there so that's how you push your local repo up to github and keep it up to date or keep them in sync all right thanks for watching